We are back with more D-Lo. Why? 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 Why are we? Hey, how the fuck you doing? Uh, why are we back with more D-Lo? Because I am an addict. I have a problem mentally, which is that if you give me like one or two things that are super fucking dope then you can give me three or four things that are not dope and I'm gonna still come back because I need, I need I don't even know what the number is but I need like I need to ten times for like to not work so I went from not liking D-Lo that much now this is not about his technique his technique fucking flawless he's awesome I, yes you're right I don't even understand how good the man is you're right. But I'm saying I went from kind of liking him a little bit to not liking him, to loving him, to not liking him, to being blown away, to then, you know, being bored. And those ups and downs let me know that there must be much other amazing things that he's done that I would love to do. And that's why the fuck we are here, man. Well, that's why I'm here. I don't know. I have, I really, even though I've made like 1700 videos, I'm not really sure why you're here. Because I assume you've probably seen this. You already have your own opinion. Me, I ain't never seen it, so that's what I'm here for. Let's go. Mm. That fucking change is dope as fuck. It's so good we're backing up. We're gonna watch it twice. Everything you've ever heard me say about contrast, he's nailing it right now. He's doing like five seconds of this, five seconds of that, five seconds of this, no, five seconds of that. <laughs> that fucking bass, man. <laughs> His battery cover's missing. We've all been there. Ooh, throw that little high pitched thing in the. I don't even know. I can't get the high of my voice. with a little fucking water drop at the end. Oh, wow. I'm thinking, and I'm realizing that no matter what I say, bruh, there's gonna be some people that are gonna be angry. We can't, we can't, uh, you know, worry about all that. We try to do a good job. We do what we do. We let it, like, happens the way it happens. Let's check the data. We continue forward. That's the idea. No matter what our job is, no matter what your life is, that's the idea. So how you may perceive his performance is like he went between like the dopest fucking rhythms ever and then like a completely different stylistic change. And what he showcased was his ability to be dominant on two levels. Uh, he's, which obviously I see this too, because that's what I'm saying to you, but my interpretation is going to be different. 
You're like, he illustrated his ability to slow down and have groove. He slow. He illustrated the ability to um, all of a sudden cut out from the speed and have bass as a focal point, plus those upper level uh, register percussion elements. My interpretation. Well, my experience. That was my interpretation. I guess you just got my interpretation. But my experience is different than that. My experience was that he alternated between things that I didn't give a fuck about and things that I was blown away by. And that's really startling because usually you don't have them back to back in 10 second increments, five second increments, four second. You, know, you, you don't really have that, right? It's really, I challenge you right now. I challenge you to think about people that have done this in your life or artists or whatever. How many times have you heard someone do five seconds of something and you hate it and five seconds of something and you love it and then five seconds and you hate it and five seconds. That doesn't really ever happen because it messes with you. Like, do you love this person or do you hate this person? Like, what? Like, what? Now, I know I love them because the ability to go between both sides, the ability to make me hate you and love you is, uh, that's fucked up because it's really hard to intentionally do either. But yet he was able to uh, personify that. So I will tell you now like a new theory that I have about, not theory, an idea that I have about D-Lo. Now this is, you know, this little arrogant, grandiose vision because it's coming from me. What the fuck do I know? But I'm kind of thinking Thank God he doesn't approach music the way that I'm thinking about it. Because if he was actually just constructing grooves and constructing songs and melodic structures solely for the purpose of increasing his reach and increasing his uh, ability to be uh, known, make money, have power and fame, we'd all be fucked. Because he's got it. He's got everything, everything you need. He's got it. He's got the work ethic, the discipline, he's got the technique, he's got the chops, technique and chops, kind of the same thing. But to me, technique is like a one-off. Chops is being able to like string your techniques together. That's me making up a definition on the fly. But he also can be catchy, he can be super prog, and he's very confident in front of a camera and very confident on a stage. That is a dangerous, dangerous man. And I think a lot of us are lucky that he hasn't decided to take over, fuck the beatbox game. No offense beatboxers, but fuck the beatbox game. Yeah, yeah, champion. Okay, fine, you're the champion. It's like, not a metaphor. This is a fucking real, real world example. Let's look at Arnold Schwarzenegger, who you might not give a fuck about. Dude was Mr. Olympia. Snuck out from an army base, went AWOL to compete in his first weightlifting, not weightlifting, bodybuilding tournament, won that shit, and came back, and instead of getting disciplined, they built him a gym because he won, and they wanted him to, like, rep their armed forces. They're like, well, hey, we already won, well, let's keep this guy going. Now, did he go, I'm going to do weightlifting videos, weightlifting training, I'm just going to be Mr. Olympia? He said, no, 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 fuck all that, I'm moving to the States, I'm learning English, he became a real estate mogul. He made his money in real estate before he made his shit in movies. Then he went to movies and then he was doing movie things. And like Arnold Schwarzenegger was like, oh, I got this Mr. Olympia shit down, bro. I also had that, you know, fucking made my house shit down. That's way later. Let's, you know, let's delete that. But he could have just said, I'm the best at this thing. Let me chill here at this thing. And instead, he went somewhere completely different and became a mega worldwide sensation. And I'm saying, dudes like D-Lo, I understand you are an assassin, D-Lo. If you're here, you're not. But if you are, I understand that you are an assassin. And people want to come up and talk some shit, get into the beatbox ring, you will fucking cut their head off. Get it. Got it. Bro, if you expanded where you were putting that skill set and if you were expanding 
how you applied that skill set. I mean, who's going to fuck with you? It's just a question. Who? Who? Who's going to fuck with you? I'm going to say that list is probably short. I'm going to say that list is probably less than five people. Is that an imaginary made up number? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But like. Sometimes the luckiest we can be. Now I'm no longer talking to d I'm talking to us here. This is us. Sometimes the luckiest we can be is that the people who are far more talented than us just don't apply themselves in the ways that make them threats. They just don't compete because they stay in their little area. And if you go in their area, they will kill you. But as long as you stay out of their area, it's not a problem. This concludes my whiskey journal. Three, two, zero, zero, one.